Hello world, I'm Rich and this is Rich's World Beer Tour. The uh, Rock and Roll Outlaws are out in the garage again brewing. I thought we'd do a beer review. Great Lakes Brewing, Cleveland, Ohio, their Oktoberfest. I've never had this before. Uh, Maria Devon, who does videos, uh, check out her channel. She's really high on this. 6.5% uh, ABV. Um, best. This one's best drank by October 11th. We're a day late. Hey, we're, uh, we're at the brewery today. We're going to turn this bag into, into five gallons of love. <laughs> so, we're going uh, to that. It says best served by 45 degrees. Um, Thank you. We're about at 45 degrees. We're going steining today. I got my Deutschland Stein, and Pete's got the Berkdisch Garden. I don't know if you can tell. We're not going to be able to give you any view of the beer. Nice golden coppery, I think, through the copper glass. So we're going to have to guess at the look and oh yeah, that's about a finger's worth of head. Who knows? Malt. A little spice in there or something. Yeah. Some other by the way, is, Pete's with me again. I, I thought pumpkin pie when I... Oh, well, there's, maybe that's what it's kind of a cinnamon nutmeg or some sort of... Or is, is that the crust? There's some sort of bready... That's probably the malt. It's a doughy... I like it. Yeah. It's a good smell. Give it a pop here. Cheers. Cheers. Prost. There's some carbonation to it, and it's colder than I'm used to drinking beer. It's usually I want a warm stout or something. That's tasty, though. I like that. That malt is there. It, it's doughy. That malty, doughy, uncooked biscuit bread or something. And yet a very fresh sort of flavor to it. Not bitter. Um, it's not a medium mouthfeel. It's lighter. Yep. Crisp. Light, crisp, clean. This is a dangerous beer. Yeah, easy. I could, I could drink this really <laughs> easy. This could flow. This is the first beer of the day as we start. We're just boiling water right now. Yeah, this is dangerous. There is wow. that hop crispness at the end. That's yeah. the only place I get the hops. Yep. That drying hop lingerness, lingering, lingeringness. They they say it's noble hops, so it's not. Uh, yep. Yeah, on there, so it's definitely more of a citrusy sort of less bitter sort of a flavor to it and, and you definitely can tell that. It is predominantly malt forward but just clean. This yeah. is a great Oktoberfest. I'm not one to drink a ton of Oktoberfest and you know how my aversion for pumpkin beers <laughs> not my gig. Uh -huh. So. This is a winner. This is 9 out of 10. Yeah, I'd agree with right you. There. Yep. This, this is awesome. Very good. Um, Great Lakes Brewing, Cleveland, Ohio, their Oktoberfest. Um, if you've tried it, put some notes down there. See if everybody's tasting the same things. That spicy note in the in the smell is not there, but this is a winner. Not there in the flavor. Not there yep. in the flavor. Yep. Unless it maybe it'll come out as it warms. Very good. Cheers, world. Cheers. Happy Oktoberfest. <laughs>